What's going on there, everyone? And the rift in the left continues. From Fox News, Dems decry Omar resolution defending Israel boycott. Dead on arrival. It's good to see that there still are some, very few, sane Democrats out there. High-profile Democrats are decrying a controversial resolution from Representative Elon Omar affirming the right to boycott Israel, even as they rally behind her and three other first-term congresswomen attacked by President Trump. I love how they say attacked by President Trump. Same, these are the same people who attack the president over every single thing he says or does. Omar, Democrat from Minnesota, proposed a resolution earlier this week in a bid to push back against U.S. laws banning the Israel boycotts. The text of the measure affirms the right of Americans to organize boycotts of foreign countries. While the resolution doesn't explicitly name Israel or the pro-Palestine boycott, Divest and Sanctions Movement, BDS, uh, she told media outlets that the resolution concerns the Jewish state. Well, I'll be. that That's a st just straight-up anti-Semitic statement right there. What are these people doing? Like, I get criti uh, criticizing Israel and all that stuff. I understand that. Fine. Go for it. But when you say the Jewish state, that 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 that's where you're you're ugh, you're getting into some sketchy grounds there. We are introducing a resolution to really speak about the American values that support and uh, believe in our ability to exercise our First Amendment First Amendment rights in regards to boycotting. Elon Omar. We are introducing a resolution to really speak about the American blah, blah, blah. I already said that. Uh, but Democrats who rushed to Omar's defense this week after Trump's Twitter attacks that uh, critics called racist have once again been put in an awkward spot by Omar's Israel criticisms. Earlier this year, many Democrats condemned comments from Omar deemed anti-Semitic. Now, several members are making clear that they are not on board with her BDS resolution. California uh, Democratic Representative Brad Sherman, one of the more uh, senior Jewish lawmakers in the House, told the Jerusalem Post that the resolution proposed by fellow Democrats is not serious. I can't imagine that any committee is going to mark up or take seriously any pro-BDS resolution, Sherman, Sherman said. I'm worried about the overall BDS movement worldwide as an economic matter. No. As an effort to delegitimize Israel, of course. The comments here today are a tarn, tiny part of the de uh, delegitimizing effort. Excuse me. Representative Elliot Engel, a New York Democrat who's facing a primary challenge backed by Justice Democrats. Imagine that. Let me stop right there. You see what's happening in the Democratic Party. They are two parties. They've become two parties. You have the Justice Democrats, which are not Democrats at all. They're kind of authoritarian socialist commies, in my opinion. Um, they are not part of the Democratic Party. Why is it that people like um, the Justice Democrats are trying to get people to primary regular, more moderate Democrats? Because they're not part of the same party. They got in. Because the Democrats would take them. You know, they ran as Democrats because they come from cities where the people always vote for the same old problems that they keep having. Not a smart decision. Not a smart decision. But let's move on. A group aligned with uh, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez didn't specifically mention Omar, but criticized the BDS movement as a cancer. Yeah, because it's, it's kind of racist. It, racism is kind of cancerous. 
I think the BDS movement is harmful, and anyone that promotes it is making a big mistake, he told the Washington Times. Sherman told the same newspaper the measure was dead on arrival, which is which is smart for them, you know. It, it helps reaffirm a little bit of distance in between these crazy authoritarians and the more moderates. I think the BDS movement is harmful, and anyone that promotes it is making a big mistake. Representative Elliot Engel. Uh, Pro-Israel Democrats, uh, meanwhile, propose an anti- BDS resolution that passed the House Foreign Affairs Committee on Wednesday, accusing the boycott movement against the Jewish state of promoting principles of collective guilt, mass punishment, and group isolation. Representative Ted Dutch, a Democrat of Florida, said during a committee hearing that the BDS movement envisions a world without Israel before adding, I reject it. Well, it doesn't it doesn't come as a surprise to me that I know this is going to come off and to a lot of people as, oh, look at him, he's Islamophobic. But no, I don't care. I really don't. To me, Islam, it's just religion. It's not, a, it's not like a, a group of people. It's just a religion. But uh, it's just crazy. It doesn't come as a shock that someone with an Islamic faith is gonna constantly go after Israel. It's they've kind of been indoctrinated to think that 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 Jewish people are bad. It's it's wild. We're living in some really wild times, man. Really wild times. It's like stuff that I thought we took care of back in like the World Wars and stuff like that. It's it's all popping back up. It's like what is really going on here? <coughs> Excuse me. Omar's resolution, co-sponsored by Reps Rashida Tlaib, John Lewis, <laughs> oh, you got to love these people, affirm the right to boycott as an expression of free speech, and even cites examples of boycott movements against Nazi Germany, the Soviet Union, and the apartheid South Africa. Americans of conscience have a proud history of participating in boycotts to advocate for human rights abroad, including boycotting Nazi Germany uh, from March 1933 to October 1941 in response to the dehumanization of the Jewish people in the uh, lead-up to the Holocaust, Omar said in the resolution introduced Tuesday. Do you really... Miss Omar, do you really think what you're doing is culpable to what we did what we when we were boycotting the Nazis? Are you serious? Why is it that these extremists on the left always go back and hearken everything to being what we are are Nazi like? What is what is wrong with their brains? You know? The Nazis, I think everyone can agree, were one of the most evil regimes that the planet has probably, one of the most, that the planet's ever seen. They were a sick group of individuals and mostly drug-fueled. If you go back through uh, the history, there was a lot of drug use. Even though mean Mr. Mustache himself was thoroughly against it, yet his personal doctor had him so drugged up that he literally lost his mind because of it. And and the whole Wehrmacht, you know, the whole German army was given drugs. How do you think they stormed through all those places so fast? Because they were hopped up on amphetamines. But yeah, pure insanity. She is crazy. She is a racist. She is truly racist and bigoted. That's what racism and bigots, or bigots look like when they come to power. Like this. They always, like, I, like I've stated so many times, whenever you point the finger at someone else, you got three fingers pointed right back at you. The left always wants to accuse people on the right of being this, that, and the other when they themselves are the hypocrisy is real. It is real. But the good thing we're seeing here is, is that regular 
moderate, not even all all that moderate. Some of these people, to me, are more to the, the left than the center. Still disagree with this because they have common sense. They, they see what's going on, but they just won't call these people out. They won't call them out for their anti-Semitism. They just can't do it. And when they do do it, it's, it's so forced feeling, you know? It's crazy. We live in truly crazy times. But it is good to hear that the Democrats as a whole are, are denouncing this resolution because it is just a strict attack on Jews. That's, that's what it is. It's a strict attack on Jews, and that's, that's all this is. But I think it's funny that it shows the divide in the Democratic Party and, you know, it, it kind of it kind of shows that they got nothing. They got nothing. What policies, what actual good policies have the Democrats put forward in the last couple years? Yep. I can't think of anything either. All I've seen them do is obstruct on policies that would actually help things. Just because if, if Donald Trump puts his name on anything, the Democrats feel it, that they just have to go against it. And, it, and it's funny because it, they're, they're so, there's so much infighting within the Democratic Party that they've lost, they've lost sight on any goal and, and they have no way of really putting this back together right now. They are in disarray, complete disarray. They are fighting each other on every end because they let extremists like this into their party. You know, when we, when we on the right have people that uh, have said incredibly bad things, we denounce them immediately and we remove them from uh, important duties. You know, recently, uh, it, it's been a little while now, but um, I can't remember his name, but we had a guy on the Republican side who got caught saying some pretty, some pretty bad things. So we kicked him off all the committees and stuff that he was in because, you know, we don't have time for that type. We don't have time for it. Everyone always accuses the president of saying racist and bigoted things. Show me. Show me where it's specifically racist. You can't do it. You can contort it and and try to make it things fit, but it's, it just doesn't quite fit. You know, you're trying to stick a, a, a square peg in a round hole. It's not going to work out that well for you. But yeah, so Democrats are still falling apart and they're eating each other. It's a constant thing. And for me on the right, it's a beautiful thing because with 2020 looming, any, any bit of help Trump can get, let's take it. As always, like, share, subscribe, and I will catch y'all on the flip side.